body of Christ. Things you hear in confessions these days. Do you know what felching is? I do know what felching is, yeah. I have to look it up. That's what I've always liked about you, Father. You're just a little too sharp for this parish. Do you see the, the priesthood as an impossible job to get, to get right? Um, no, I think it's a lot like uh, other things. You don't, you, you, there is no getting it right. There's, it's a constant struggle. I think, you know, everything is a, a work in progress. Life is finite, at least. The, the, this end of it is finite. And um, I think the first thing you need to understand, of course, is that everything turns and that even if, you, if something appears to be fixed, it will almost certainly become unraveled. <laughs> I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say. I'm going to kill you, Father. Certainly a startling opening line. Do you think it was an idle threat? I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're not sure, it means it's possible. I'm going to kill you because you're innocent. I give you enough time to put your house in order. Sunday week, let's say. Do you see the film as a, as a lament for the Catholic Church? No, I mean, when I, and that could be, that could be in there, but I mean, my primary goal is to create intriguing characters and tell a good story. Anything that comes out, anything, you know, obviously there's always going to be subtext, but whatever, whatever uh, analogies are made after that is fine, but that's not my primary goal. It's obviously the context, and Ireland is the context. But I, I see it more about, you know, when I put on the vestments for Mass, uh, when we were testing the costume, which you've always got to remember it is a costume, uh, I felt that I had a very weird feeling that I was putting on something, you know, I, I was talking to John about it and he kind of suggested it was a bit like a samurai. You feel as if you're putting on a certain, but obviously a uniform, but also a, a, an armour. And, and that, that ins I got a very odd revisiting of childhood in the sense of there was a purity about the goodness that I felt was to be to protected. In other words, whatever goodness is for me on a personal level, I felt I must fight for that. It was a very, very strange feeling. You know, I don't sit down going, how am I going to deal with the scandals in the Catholic Church or how do I deal with the fact that nobody goes to church anymore in Ireland or whatever and it's finished. That's not my primary, that's just a secondary thing. That's just there, it's just obvious, you know. It's about keeping faith, but it's about keeping faith, I think, in something a little bit more universal than just, you know, the Catholic Church as such, or even, even organised religion as such. That it's about the essence of goodness, I think. Finish with all your gobbledygook. Every life is sacred, Frank, for God's sake. Some are less sacred than others. The commandment, thou shalt not kill, does not have an asterisk referring you to the list of instances where it's okay to kill people. What about self-defense? It's a tricky one, all right. You look at that scenery, those backdrops, and you think, well, you know, why has it not been used in film before? And you look at Irish film, it's just, they don't seem to... All the producers are always like, oh, it's set in Galway, it's set in Sligo, we, we can shoot that in Wicklow, you know, so we don't have to go too far out of Dublin. And it just leads to this paucity of visual imagination. You just get... And it leads, it actually, it starts to imply what the story you're going to tell is because if you're not prepared to shoot in those sorts of places then everything becomes about people in Dublin you know I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing films about people from Dublin um, so hopefully you know with the success of uh, The Guard and this one hopefully that we'll see much more location shooting you know it's always my you know obviously the 70s American cinema that was the great period where they just went no we're not going to do New York and LA anymore we're going to go all over the country and I hope that, that kind of thing happens with Ireland.